This is Jackson Prosco near King and Bay. There is a police car on fire, what appears to be in the middle of the intersection right now. I'm looking at about 50 riot squad police marching down the middle of the street towards that action. But the burning car is in the middle of the intersection at King and Bay, casting a pall of thick black smoke through the middle of the intersection. It's really an ominous scene. We're also hearing what I believe is tear gas being fired back and forth between the two sides. Uh, we are continually being pushed back. I'm halfway between Bay and York at this point. We'll report as developments warrant. Hey! Touch my guy. Don't touch my guy. Don't touch my guy. Is this tear gas that we're smelling? Hi, Alex Pearson reporting here from Adelaide and Bay Street. And if I sound out of breath and like I'm quivering, because I am, it's gotten extremely violent down here. We've got protest groups that are not just protesting. They are throwing bottles. They are throwing pool balls. They are breaking windows. They are coming after the media. They are going after cop cars. They are breaking windows, and they are hell-bent on causing as much harm and destruction. They are now near the zone, as close as they possibly can, near the intersection of King and Bay. We're going to try to wade back into it, but i got to be honest, uh, things have really come undone here. Laura McNabb here downtown at Queens and Soho. We are basically uh, being surrounded by police. There was a group of people, protesters and others, who were standing by the cop car that was burning. The cop car surrounded the protesters. We are now running with a group of protesters and the regular Torontonians who came out to watch. Leslie Roberts is live on the phone in downtown Toronto where the protests have actually prevented him from leaving our microwave truck. Leslie, what happened? Well, it, that's the reason why we're on the phone, Carolyn, is because we have uh, basically been surrounded by the riot squad about an hour ago or so. Uh, the protesters, who had been downtown, dispersed, and as they did, they came up, and I'm at the corner now of Queen's Park and College, right in front of the uh, provincial legislature, of course, on the front lawn, the south lawn, if you know the area, and it is a showdown. We have riot police, several thousand of them, on one side, and we have... Well, some uh, pretty feisty protesters on the other side. We saw a number of well of uh, some pepper spray that was by the protesters thrown into the crowd. We also saw a couple of police vans that were smashed. Uh, they are not taking any chances here. The police had gas masks on. They had their uh, shields in front of them. They were banging them on the street as they moved. Intimidation tactics. The idea is to move the crowd back, disperse them. They don't want them, of course, to get anywhere near the Metro Toronto Convention Center. Okay, I'm just watching in front of me. The crowd has started to run. As you can see we have our mask camera on that's the only thing we can show you from our uh, microwave truck obviously something has happened just in front of us and we saw this a couple of times that when we heard a bang or think there I just see a bottle a projectile has been thrown at the police this is about to get nasty because the minute this happens here comes something else something else hit the police line that's when they move in so that's what is happening right now here this is Jackson Brosco outside the Eastern Avenue Detention Center, the temporary holding facility to build those swept up in arrest during the G20. There's a large peaceful protest taking place here. Police had held behind a line of about 150 protesters. Without warning, all of a sudden, two minivans pulled up in front of the group, and police raided the crowd and just grabbed whoever they could, stuffed them into vans, arrested whoever they could at the time, and drove away. This was without warning. It was completely unprovoked. We saw police literally just drive up at that moment and grab whoever they could near the front line. We were sitting down with our hands up what, like what this. Happened, I don't even we were sitting right down now. going, this is a peaceful protest. We don't want to go in the crowd and hurt anybody. So please do it now. Hands on your head. Okay, it's Alex Pearson here at the corner of Soho and Queen, where we've been now for about the last hour and a half, two hours, when a thousand protesters walked down the street of Queen in a peaceful protest, and then things uh, changed. The climate changed as police moved in and started surrounding them. And where I find myself right now is a unique situation. They started driving back crowds, and uh, thousands of people were basically running down Queen Street, forcing uh, my crew, a team of camera guys, live eye operators, our security guards, camera editors, uh, to dive into our trucks and our vehicles. Sorry. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Get in. So now I'm sitting with five people uh, in a live truck, which was the safest place for us to be, uh, where we are now surrounded by about a thousand tactical uh, officers. We've got mounted unit. We've got. Um, I can't see actually because the windows are now fogged up. So right now we're trying to shoot this from our vehicle 